Ooh, yeah, guys, this should have been done five years ago. You guys must be wondering what am I talking about? Well, I will show and tell you guys all about it. But hi, hi to all of you guys. So let me go ahead to bring my screen up and show you guys what I mean. So Pokemon Go has been out since 2016. So that's five years since Pokemon Go came out. And there's never a time that we are able to get like proper help or tips from the game itself other than from this, you know, Professor Willow telling us that, oh, this is a Pokestop. Oh, in the real world, you where you can find Pokeballs and other items. Yeah, if you guys are wondering how come the Pokestops are being spun automatically, my ball blast is spinning it. <sighs> and then the next one is the Pokestop will change its shape when you walk close enough, tap to interact with it. Okay, yeah, well, I'll spin the photo disc to get generate items and da 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 da. And then uh, battle uh, swap left and right to dodge incoming attacks. Uh, okay, pretty helpful. That's all. Uh, never talk about how to play Go Battle League, never talk about raiding, never talk about any other aspect of the game including few research and friends, friendship etc. How to do all those. Until now! Alright, Niantic took 5 years to do this which I feel should have been done in 2016. Alright, so what am I talking about is, let's go back to the settings over here under the top right and you guys can see on the top right there's a word help that's not exactly help help to me it's kind of like tips if you tap on it right you can scroll down and see that there's so many options including like top articles release notes and known issues events getting started trainer progress finding evolving and hatching and blah 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 blah, blah. so many things to look at i will encourage all of you guys who just started out playing pokemon go to check this help section out it will definitely help you guys a lot yeah i would say that i want this i in fact i would be happy to have gotten this back in 2016 when i started playing pokemon go because reading all this gives a lot of information on the basic stuff on how to play pokemon go so uh, let's just run through some of them very sim the simply ones of course uh, you can go ahead to read the terms and services the privacy policy and you know the account sign in whatsoever the more um, you know non game related kind of uh, issues that you can also check it out yeah but uh, there are some game related issues if you will look at the top articles right how to mega evolve your pokemon mega evolving your pokemon the first one all right so they explain you know mega evolving is not like a permanent evolution and you guys can see they even show like screenshots on how to do it which is really really good all right so they even explain that mega evolving a pokemon may also change their type and then you can actually tap on the bold the icon there and they will show you i guess a few examples when you are brought to another website yeah it shows you all the explanation type effectiveness in the battle etc which is really really good i mean this website and i think help shift has been there for quite a while unfortunately it's not in the game so it's not easily accessible for a lot of people i mean i did not know about the Niantic help shift um, website until like in recent times so even explain to you guys in great detail how to join mega race and how it works but you know when it comes to like in-depth detail like if you look at the amount of mega energy that you can get from the raid they actually did say you will see a speed stat on the summary screen which determines how much mega energy you earn yes and then it shows over there plus 30 energy i'm unable to uh, zoom in but you guys should be able to see but they never say like uh, how much you need to take the how fast you need to take down the red boss uh, to get like 80 energy or 70 energy or 60 energy by the way this screenshot that nine is putting here is actually the old screenshot before the mega energy got uh, buffed or revamped because the 30 energy to obtain that was before they actually uh, improved the system i guess so um, that's something that nine also still need to update there are a lot of things that they are actually working on clearly you know especially for events etc and certain things that are going on including bugs and glitches that are there being fixed even people getting force banned falsely banned all right uh my friends have messaged me saying that they have been falsely uh, banned and of course uh, Niantic is trying to uh, <laughs> revert that process including my friend uh, youtuber daniel speeder trend he also um, got uh, suspended so uh, he's getting his uh, account back in fact he got his account back already 
which is good. So um, that's another topic for another day, but luckily they got their accounts back, so I don't need to talk about it. Anyway, let's go ahead to check out. You can see in terms of uh, reality blending, they actually talk about it, etc. That's not really too important in my opinion. It's not really the top articles. Maybe it's top articles by Niantic, but not by you know, ask trainers. So scanning a Pokestop even shows you how to do the AR scanning feature, you know, etc. Which is really good. I, I would say that this should have been like given to us like long time ago, like inviting friends to raids. Yeah, there are a lot of people who do not even know how to like invite friends to raids or accept the invitations. So having this in the game actually is a very good thing for a lot of people to read and check it out and of course it takes a bit of time to like read and whatsoever so what are seasons this and that there's a small little explanation on it which you guys can go ahead to read that so other than that though you guys can go ahead to check out like certain stuff like trainer progress how to level up or what's xp what's medals and medals required blah 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 it's not really an in-depth uh, explanation but at least you learn a thing or two especially if you are a first time pokemon go trainer even shows you the amount of XP that you get, the bonuses that you get for the first catch of the day once you get your, your streaks all in, first Pokestops all done. So these are very, very good. Oh, oh yeah, and even they show you guys uh, that it says that it only uh, appears after the midnight, 12 a.m. So it tells you everything, types of researchers. It even shows you like the types of researchers that you can do, also, etc. And explain to you guys how to do it, the special research, etc. Which is really cool, I, I, I must say, I mean, the, like I say, all this has been up on the website and to get to the website is not really easy to, to, to have it like in the game where you can actually just tap on it and see all these adventures thing, this and how to enable adventures thing, check out your weekly fitness report, etc. Yeah, all this should have been done back in 2016, of course, adventure thing and raiding, etc. weren't available back in 2016, but as time progresses and the game progresses, all this should also progress along the way also. And then explain how do you how to change your team. Maybe I should change my team also to Team Instinct. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> like that, am I gonna change to Mystic? All right. So um, there are so many other things to look at also, man. I mean, like the finding Pokemon and what are shiny Pokemon. You see, they even explain to you guys what shiny Pokemon are. But of course, they don't go into great detail to explain to you guys like the odds of getting a shiny Pokemon that they even go through and say that you know some uh, are event limited shiny Pokemon like Smurgle, Dito, Unown, Melton and cannot be encountered as shiny variant outside of specific events yeah and then you can just read up all this it's really really um, helpful in a sense but of course uh, all this <laughs> would have been better like I said for me if I knew all this and read all this at the start of uh, the game and uh, over time I had to learn all this based off experience Alright, so even they show you guys how to power up Pokemon, learn modules, etc. Very, very good. Yeah, very, very good. So, um, I would really encourage you guys to check it out, especially if you want to check out even for the friends and gifting and trading, you know, how, how to send and receive gifts. They explain to you guys in great detail, right? So, it's step by step to send a gift, go to the map, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so it's super duper awesome. That's what I would say. So, Props to Niantic for, you know, managing to uh, get this into the game, man. Though it took five years to do it, but awesome, man. Oh, by the way, if you um, if you want to get the help icon on the top right in the settings, you need to update your version, right? My version is the one that's right now 0.215.0A64, and that's on the iOS. Okay, as for Android, I guess it should be the same version, but I think that is all that I have to talk about in terms of this particular thing that, like I said, should have been done five years ago. I mean, it's not like super duper advanced techniques or tips or tricks, but it's the basic of the basic, which, like I said, if you are a new trainer who started playing just this year, 2021, I would really, 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 really recommend you guys to go ahead to check it out. Yeah, it would definitely help you guys in the long run to understand the basic stuff first and then uh, eventually learn the more advanced stuff. Of course, you know, Niantic ain't gonna tell you guys how to do fast catch or in fact how to incubate your eggs faster or in fact how to grind more Stardust or more XP or get certain 100% IV Pokemon or certain shiny Pokemon or, or whatever that you guys are trying to get which Niantic uh, tries not to... Um, uh, a review to us, I guess. <laughs> we all still need to learn from uh, each other and from uh, online sources, I suppose. So, 
But if you guys uh, found this video helpful, don't forget to share with your friends, especially the ones who are starting out. Tell them about this new feature, I guess, that has been added into the game. And I would really recommend, even if you are a new player or not, to actually read it up. I'm going to take the time to like slowly read them because it's going to be a long read. And personally, I don't really like to read stuff. I like to see stuff as in like pictures and videos, etc. But I will still take the time to read through every single topic one by one to see what Niantic has written and see what mistakes they have made. <clears throat> yeah, especially the mega energy, that one. Yeah, so with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. All right. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.